everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Here we have recent Anna stream with Diego. Pretty patterns. I haven't watched it, but can someone tell me his 4chan post is true? Let's talk about what, whether people say it's true or not. Post is literally has timestamps. Take you just a few minutes to check for yourself. Not going to watch the NSG and approve some green text in the, the NSGzo. None of the things written are insane. If anything, it just paints an unflattering picture of her current state. Ignore. I did see the clips and honestly, while not insane, it really does make her look like a very toxic person than she already is. I wouldn't be surprised if she created a bad work environment ever since she joined the company which would make her being one of the most suspected bullies more evident. Imagine watching a streamer you don't like to the point where you have to timestamp of the entire stream. Would honestly rather leave Anna alone and listen to a group who can't uh, go a single post without S harassing somebody. What is that thread? There, this is everything. This is everything that's going on for the, the post. It's, I'm going to read it to you because it seems kind of small, you know, for you guys. It says timestamps for the stream and 10 minutes in. Poverty baiting. You're the one making money. Not much lately. 31 minutes. Diego became popular because of me, Anna explaining that she set Diego up with his whole career. He was just a random guy working an S job until Anna found him and set him up with a lucrative career. Diego is a product of Anna's nepotism. 36 minutes, Diego brings up COVID. Anna immediately sh shies away from the topic. 40 minutes, Anna calls her fans P deprived. Uh, do you need D on 43 minutes? You're already probably one of the most people everyone talks to every day. 55 minutes, Diego is single. 56 minutes, Diego's dad is, uh, is Mexican. My, my parents, one of my parents is Mexican, so I don't know what that was all about. Anna mocks one of her members uh, on 139. That, I mean, that happens. Some people have that type of rapport with their with their uh, people, so that could just be normal. She says her membership content sucks and doesn't know why anyone would buy it. Uh, 154, Anna, Diego talking about IRL meetup. Anna ate all his chips. Tee he so romantic. Diego, uh, our story, uh, 20551. Go back to your country, yellow F. Uh, there's a lot of Asian ancestry, all this stuff. This person pretty much just spent all this time doing all this stuff. Uh, sometimes I do think you look Asian. She couldn't find him in Japan if he was right in front of her, pushing the Asian the way he, he looks. Actually, M statistically have a lot of Asian ancestry. Uh, Anna wants DNA test for a future stream. For Diego, might find you have some Irish blood. Anna would be traumatized at 210.42. Uh, if Diego had any Chinese ancestry because, she, uh, that he'd be like my long lost brother, which is for some reason a deal breaker for her. Anna gushing over nice Diego. Ega, a, 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 a. Anna uh, invites Diego for a home cooked meal. Some members a chat absolute bees. Uh, Anna doesn't consider real fans. Diego thinks it's funny. Possible graduation baiting. It makes sense at three three thirteen that need to sign a streaming company, so my focus should be streaming. But low key, I just wanted time to work on projects. I'll be easier for you in the near future and stuff. I am not like a sustainable streamer. I it, I will be gone. So you know, saying that she's gonna graduate. I don't even want to reach 1 million subs, according to Anna. Of course, that's a lie. Diego wants to onsen with Anna. He was naked under the robe. Anna mocked him for it. Thickness of yukata was like one ply toilet paper. It was so thin. He was raw dogging the yukata. Oh, God. Uh, Anna posting Diego's channel and chat, showing heavily telling everyone to subscribe. Just like all this type of stuff uh, about ranting about global warming. Just a bunch of stuff. Person is kind of a bit, a bit of schizo post. It's kind of weird that they're taking so much time if they dislike the person, maybe to prove that they're bad. I don't know. But it's just a 4chan post. Take it with a grain of salt. Take it as a rumor. Take it as like, unless you go and, and take a look at everything here. The, the, the timestamps are there with their latest one. It even has the, um, the, the YouTube link there that you can take a look at. You can take a look at it and see it yourself. Uh, I just wanted to cover what was going on. We went over before in other videos about how Petra and Finana are now below 500k. Uh, we have Vox Akuma here, who is also kind of, you know, dropping. He's, he's, he's 10, 10k. That's more than I have in total, uh, you know, uh, subscribership. But it's kind of crazy the way things go in the world of YouTube. Uh, right now, because Vox has made a lot of missteps, we all know about the missteps that Vox has made. Don't need to go over it. You know, the black stream and then him going to Billy Billy and then the weird, uh, you know, recent uh, stuff that he has, like the recent look that he has of the Ronin look, whatever it is. All that stuff is making people just not like him anymore. And they are leaving for good reason. And I can't say I'm happy about it because, you know, he's still a creator. He's still a human being, but he has made a lot of bad moves. So it's not surprising that these things are happening. This might not seem like a lot, but those 10 care active subscribers, some of those might be regular watchers and they might have actually been people who were giving him money at some point in time. A lot of these 1 million subs are dead subs that were probably subbed during the peak. You can see it most clearly in the CCV. They don't have as much pull as they had before. 
So yeah, when you lose this many subscribers, it ends up being because you've lost active subscribers. So this is always bad for him. And it's just a reminder that you should always be careful uh, what company you're under and be careful what you do when you're a content creator. And another little post about Vox that we're seeing here is I find it funny considering how much need you like spamming him everywhere. Not sure if I got caught or if the number improved. Uh, 696 watching. Again, take this with a grain of salt. Take this as just one period of the, the, the stream. If there's no other stream stats shown, take it as one period. The person could just take it as their the lowest point that's seen there and then just use that as that. You know what I mean? Definitely worse since this is an entire drama and it's worse since last year. His ratio of watchers keeps going down. His CCVs and his average is 1K. Okay, perfect. Two and a third Finana. The snake deserves it. Again, like I said, this is a person showing what actually happened. Uh, you know, this the 20 the 6k canadian dollars he had there um 3.4k ups 26k full and the live stats he had a peak concurrence of 4300 it looks like uh on those early days but this one right here was a thousand twenty seven of his last one and two thousand peak concurrence so that's still good that's almost 10 finanas so yeah it was 2k ccv 1k of regular if I'm not mistaken that's not even his new model so he's even effing up his fujo bait model that isn't like his fifth big event stream community stream since the slan incident i remember those used to be absolutely gangbusters just falling into irrelevance yeah a lot of people think he's just falling into irrelevance i think he messed up with what he did in the past i think he messed up with the uh the black screen stream and the other mistakes that he made of not apologizing not moving on not uh, you know moving to billy billy all those many things are making his streams, as you can see here, not very much since the 25th. You have 4,000, which is still not bad. But for him, like recently, at, over the last week or so, last month or so, it's been pretty bad. It's been pretty low. In 1700s, 2000s, and before, like he would have 12K, he would have 4K, he would have all that. This person is wondering what's going on with Nidhi Sanji and what's going on with what they've been doing recently. It says, weird S has been happening this past few days. Look at cover stock. And we're going to look at, at Nidhi Sanji stock. Nidhi Sanji stock is kind of low. It has had a dip. It started at uh, 2218. Now it's 2136. So it had a bit of a dip. Uh, then we can look at cover corp as well. Look at theirs. Theirs dipped a bit too from their start of 1650. And it has also dipped as well. So both of them are dipped. But we're now, a lot of people are more worried about Nidhi Sanji. A lot of people are more, more interested in Nidhi Sanji. So we're going on that one. Starting to think covers getting shorted to heck. Edit, can any stock worlds figure out if covers getting shorted? If so, why? Honestly, lost interest in following either stock. It doesn't reflect the reality of the company. My guess is everything taking its toll. Market seems to be spooked that Utako is merely the first domino to, to fall. Yeah, it happened. seems to happen after Utako Suzuka was the one who was mentioned as a second. You see, we're a second generation Nidhi Sanji library. She's going to be graduating on June 12th. So, yeah, the drop started before Utako graduation. As Nikkei looked up at the conversion rate, only a few weeks ago, it was more like 90. Yeah, the the yen might be dropping a bit too. So, you know, it, it may just be a larger market force causing this. I am not a market bro. I am not a stock bro. So I just go based on the information that I have. And I go based on the little knowledge that I have of when I invested in the past. Like I think it was like three years ago when last time I invested. So with all that information that we have now, um, it could be a lot of things happening. It could be the yen is getting lower. It could be, you know, as mentioned, Nidhi Sanji is suffering from the things that are happening in regards to, you know, everything that, that has been going on here, specifically uh, the Utako situation, the other situations that have been going on. We don't know. Here we go. We have Doki and Mint finally following each other. Doki and Mint are following each other, which is great news. Of course, as I will always mention when I mention these things, do not go and bug them about this. Do not go and ask them about this. Do not go and say things about this. Just leave them alone. Let them relax. Let them follow, unfollow, whatever. They're no longer part of that former company they were part of. They are now their new personas. Leave them as their new personas, please. I'm, it's nice to see that we probably shouldn't make a big deal about it to avoid either of them getting harassed over it. Exactly, just let them be and be happy without shining a spotlight. Never thought I'd see the day. Post at the same time, deleting my one post that gets more upvotes. No worries, I'm just happy to finally follow each other now. Imagine if Min is really the one surprise guest at WrestleTuber. That'd be interesting. Like, just a, a surprise wrestler pops in. But I didn't think about this. This is a holy moly. It'd be, it'd be a big holy moly. Holy moly moly. Dragoon Dachi. I could, couldn't be happier because, you know, of the things that, that they had in their past. But please... Leave the past where it belongs in the past. When you're watching them, watch them for their current stuff. Watch them 
for what they're currently doing and the amazing people that they are now. This is one about Doki Bird being a true boss. I hope the salary is good. Uh, I do hope the salary is good as well. I mean, I hope, hope everything's going well. Doki Bird management team is looking to hire some new people to help out with day-to-day -day stuff. We're looking for three new hires. Our merch product planner, someone who can work with coming new merch concepts and contacting coordinating illustrators. Knowing Japanese would be a plus, but not mandatory. Uh, main manager, Mr. Man will be taking a step back and focus on external. So we we looking for someone that can handle the internal structure and day-to-day -day communication, emails, communicate with Asia management team, as well as actively search for new sponsors and projects. An event coordinator. The job will be coordinating with event convention organizers and making sure things do not overlap, as well as negotiate the best outcome for me when it comes to guest appearances. Do you wish to apply? You please send your resumes to Doki Can Read at Gmail. That's always good. I'm very, very, very happy that she has this going on. Her email, uh, and mom and mom said original email was unprofessional. I think it misses a T. Doki can't read. <laughs> yeah, basically. Before anyone applies, this is some free pass to meet up with Doki. It's for work. If you think you can work for Doki, then okie Doki. But if you have just the goal to want to meet her, don't do it. Yeah, she needs someone who is a professional at this, not just some random person who just wants to meet Doki. Of course, she's going to be going through all of the resumes and going through people who act have actually experience because she is someone who needs experience because she is growing at an alarming pace, like a really, really good pace. I'm going to be her boyfriend and sarcasm, uh, a doki bird uh, for the doki bird. And uh, says, I'm going to apply to meet chat. Chat loves staff members. I kind of want to apply for it, but I'm a bit conflicted. On the one hand, this is an opportunity to make use of my communication skills. I accumulated, I accumulated in my final year project, as well as a joke, hey, work for your Oshi. However, I don't have much experience. I'm really into VTubing sphere, yeah, but it can only go so far. Of course, like I said, she wants someone with experience, so just apply if it's experience. Asian management team, good on Doki. Uh, just hope she did a thorough background check before hiring on like a certain corpo. She's going to do a good background check. Her setup has become so broad and cumbersome that she needs multiple people to spread the load compared to how she barely got any support at Kurosanji. Two, these have part-time positions Consider Mr. Man is also being manager to her ex-sets Apex team. Otherwise, uh, the salary cost would be out outstripped Doki's earning potential. Doki makes way more than I think on streaming and can afford many full times. It's probably going to be a part-time thing. Uh, she did waste lots of money while she was trying to run projects in Kurosanji. Imagine now being indie. The exposure she got is paying off. Yeah, so she probably makes a good amount of money and she wants to, you know, because handling everything yourself, business inquiries, all that kind of stuff can be very taxing and it is not the best if you do not have all the experience out there, which is, you know, of course, she has certain experience, but not everything. Voice Ore, which is the company, if you don't know, it is the company that was trying to get people like Mike Neko uh, signed in and signed to voice acting and signed to, you know, those type of opportunities. Uh, they have a lot of other talents, a lot of other talents right over here. Uh, we're going to be talking about all these people. Himokai Koga Kogane, uh, Sumirizaki Rin, Asagisaki, Beni Kabasakura, Mili Mirror, uh, Subekaru, Subekaraku, Okapi, Lunonazu, Abahoshi Yura, Koito Ria, which is, you know, basically Mikineko, Amatsuki Kuto, Amatsuka Uto. Why are we talking about this today? Because Voice Order is going to close operations on June 30th. My guess is that they weren't able to get the money that they're supposed to, that they wanted to get. Amatsuka Uto just joined six months ago. I feel bad for her. She wanted a VA with less management on herself, but ended up like this. I do hope she just gets a resume during that. Uh, thank you for your support. As of 1900 June, all voice audit vo will close operations. Fan club members will be temporarily closed. So please respect the talents for their announcements. All the members will graduate and ownership of the IP. All these members up here, all these up here, except for, you know, uh, Ria and Uto, which is basically Mikineko and Uto, they are just voice actors, but the rest up here will have their uh, their actual IPs given to them, which is good. Uh, voice actor support of, of Ria and Uto will end. This explains a few things. Uto and Ria really got hit hard by this. This sucks. Uh, Uto, oh no. Hopefully Uto re recovers from this. Uh, likely on Mikineko, this person here is basically saying that um, they were trying to push, uh, they were trying to push uh, Mika Neko to go to Pony Canyon to get, uh, you know, the, her her song that she got that, you know, got canceled recently. Uh, her voice acting game that also got canceled re recently with the Mafu Mafu stuff. Uh, probably all things dried up because people, a lot of people don't like um, being around someone that has any kind of negative publicity because the negative publicity will go on them. That type of thing. It sucks for people like Uto and Mika Neko who was trying to get past everything 
who's trying to fix her her persona, trying to fix everything that's going on. And of course, here we have the actual uh, proof here. Here we have the actual evidence, which of course, I always like having the actual evidence for you guys. Here's what's mentioned here. And of course, I got it translated for you guys. It says, thank you so much for your continued support. 1900 June 30th, we had decided to close down the website. We have been operating. Due to the closure, some members fan clubs will also be temporarily closed. So please check the official announcements. I'd like to express our sincere gratitude to everyone who has supported uh, the livers involved and everyone involved. Thank you very much for service so far. These are all the people who are going to be uh, moving on and doing their own thing after this. All the people that I had mentioned, all these voice act, all these, these are the actual talents under them here and the voice actors are down below. So all of them will get their uh, IPs, which means their, their models, everything else will go to them, which is a good move. It's actually one of an, 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 a W coming out from an L. It's very important. Here we have Mint visiting the Shoujo Minecraft server with her Oshi Henya taking a tour. I did uh, raid her at the very last minute. Unfortunately, it was after she was done, but I did watch it as the VOD. And um, though she might be a bit nervous, I'm, I'm nervous, nervous. She's nervous. Uh, glad to see more success after need you here. Chilling with her Oshi uh, while in wonderful world of Minecraft. It's probably very exciting for her. Oh, and there's a mouse there too, I suppose. Dear God, tell her not to steal anything from Henya. Check we're beyond that point concerning now as Mint is currently streaming with Pansu slapped onto her face. Part of her model. Oh God. Oh God. She knows the consequences probably would be made more wanted. I'm happy for Mint. But yeah, let's just take a look at, at some of the stuff, of course. Um, yeah, she has the Pansu there. Of course she has the Pansu there because that's one of those things she's going to have. It's just, you know, fun times. Just kind of giving you an idea of what, what was posted there, what was going on. Just giving you a little bit of a clue, a, a clue in as to what's going on here, of course. I covered this earlier in a long section in my previous video uh, from the writing of this. And, uh, you know, it went over the sorry for today's stream, the fact that she was feeling sad and the fact that she always she didn't never wanted to be a martyr. She just wanted to be able to do her own stuff. You went on here is people don't want to be friends with you after the actual truth came out. That's on them. It's a good thing because you don't want to be friends with those type of people since they'll drop you for any reason or use the info you give against you. I've experienced a similar thing with a few years ago where mostly everyone stopped being friends with me due to false rumors. And yes, it hurt. But life goes on. I wasn't going to give them satisfaction of seeing me defeated. Same thing with me. I have false rumors roam roaming around about me. A lot of people have blocked me. A lot of people have stopped talking to me. Uh, people that I used to talk to have stopped talking to me. Uh, but it is what it is. You can only move forward and you can show them that they were wrong by your actions. Turn that sadness into anger and use that anger to fuel you forward. Obviously, it's up to you ultimately if you stop being content creator. But just keep in mind exactly what they want. They want you out of this field permanently. Will you give them exactly what they want? And she says, which she has a right to say. She says, I don't care what they want. So many people like you see things so one-sided. No one cares what others want. And you don't care what I want. What people don't understand is that I didn't ask to have to be strong. I didn't ask to struggle on. I don't want to struggle like this. And I never wanted to. Why is that so hard to understand? It isn't hard to understand. At least not for me. No one wants to be a martyr. No one wants to be told, ah, you fight, fight, fight. You know, you're going to be fine. We know like a people who are going, going through this. She's going through something I can never imagine. I'm not putting myself in the same level as her. I'll just be that out right, outright right now. I'm not putting myself at the same level as her. She's had way more anger, way more vitriol, way more friends leave her, way more uh, business uh, deals be gone, way more of all this kind of stuff. People still treating her as a martyr, all this type of stuff. And just letting you know, I am not uh, getting angry at those people who do that. Everyone has a right to have their own opinions. But I'm glad that she's letting people feel and understand the way she feels. She has a feeling of she just wants to be a content creator without all of this stuff stopping her, without all of these walls being there, um, about all of these people preventing her and talking bad about her and, and treating her as like, oh, my God, poor you. That is infantilizing her. That is at least it feels in her way, infantilizing her, not letting her feel the way that she feels, not... Um, kind of accepting that this is something that she is going to have to go through on her own. You know, that type of thing. I can understand that. Maybe I'm, un I'm misunderstanding it and I can absolutely admit that I may be misunderstanding this. But I want Sayu to be content with the way that she is, with the content that she's creating. I wish I could just take away all the extra stuff that she's going through. I can't. I'm not that strong. I'm not as strong as she's been. She doesn't have to be strong for anybody. She can just decide to be done with it and just be gone. And it should be accepted by everybody. She can decide to soldier on. She can decide to do her own thing. But I do wish that people weren't in the way of her doing her own thing. I wish there weren't people in the background whispering in other people's ears, preventing people from talking to her. You know, that or just because she's she's been surrounded by so much drama that they don't want to talk to her. You know, that type of thing. 
I wish that didn't happen, but um, I have no power in this, unfortunately. Regarding the screenshot validity for web-based sites like Twitter, TLDR, search for the original content screenshots of web pages to make sure you see is the actual content. That's why I try to always put the content out there from Twitter, try to actually always, always go to Twitter. And if it, there is no Twitter there, then I'm going to say this could very well be a doctor screenshot. This could very well be something crazy. You know what I mean? Not uncommon to see information spread through the screenshots, tweets, message boards, Discord messages. Fortunately, these are methods that are subject to potential fabrication. Level of web content, you've reached structure HTML. And if you know how to do inspect, inspect um, element, you can pretty much modify these things. Firefox and Chrome both have their own set of developer tools. Function these tools is to able to interactively modify parts of a web page to test content updates. Unfortunately, it can be used for more than uh, nefarious purposes, like right here. There's a tweet fabricated to look like it's coming from Niji Official. I could put all sorts of nasty things in it. It's a more simplistic example of modification. It took me less than a minute to produce the result. Down here is something new. View post engagement partially cropped out, so let's give it a shot. Here's the view post engagement there. Um, having it there, you know, there's they, they added it there. They added view post engagements. I modified one of my own tweets with the content of one of Finana's tweets. Profile information, tweet content, date time, etc. It can be modified through inspect element. That's what I mentioned when people were mentioning the whole Fanana thing about her being posting on 4chan. It could very easily have been modified. That's why I always put it out there. This could be modified. This is rumor. I just want to make sure that people understand that, you know, simple method can be used for si similar method can be used for Twitter, private messages as well. Though a bit more effort will be involved to do how much more uh, required to modify. Discord modifications are possible since they have web interface. You know, if, if it's the web interface, then yes. Basically, careful about blindly believing anything that's based on web content. I'm surprised no one has edited the HTML of Niji's Twitter to actually make them look like the bad guys yet. Uh, archiving service like Wayback Machine, it's made in Japan, there's also that. The other one is exactly why I was really skeptical of the Raziel document. The only concrete piece of evidence she gave us were the uh, Procreate clips of her making Luca's million subscriber thing. So yeah, always be... Uh, open-minded and always you know think of it with a critical mind she pretty much verifying the needy non-compete contract clause as a side note 599 daily subs at least 29.95 us in raw revenue before twitch takes its cut so it seems to be doing well by the metric excluding merch bits and other stuff she lives in indonesia cost of living is very low there for example bobon would frequently tell his fans that he's not going to buy a battle pass because that's enough for like weeks worth of food yeah that makes sense uh literally showing a student to live by sending 200 dollars every month to her Thanks to that, she can study, eat, and live in peace while studying. Comparison, 200 bucks for me is what I spent on groceries this month. Exactly. So they can't go to another Japanese VTubing company, or does it make it outside VTubing company? Sorry, I'm clueless about the laws. Think it'd be anywhere that a non-compete clause is enforceable. Non-compete clauses are not enforceable in the U.S. due to recent FTC rulings. I don't know about other countries, including Indonesia. Uh, we will see a poem will get hired in July. Uh, what are you thinking? Uh, it's, it's a full stream link. You know, it's basically... It's a stream, but I included the timestamp in it. It's uh, four minutes to the end. This contract leak is included, uh, not compete, but some people said that it wasn't enforceable, especially not in the US. So let's see what she says. And we're going to go at 1.25. It's fine. Pirate software. I know Pirate software probably doesn't know who I am, right? So he's just like vibing and chilling. He's just living his life to the fullest and yep. stuff. So he's like thanking me and he knows that I'm a VTuber, I guess. Because like, I guess someone in chat says like she's a VTuber. And then he started talking about like VTuber stuff. Okay. Oh my god, I want to talk about this first. Give me. <laughs> he started talking about, um, you know, when VTubers uh, graduate. Yes. And then they reappear. Yes. Right. There's a term for that. I wouldn't know. I'm, I'm new to the VTubing scene. So that I was Reincarnation. Like, oh, this is a very insightful conversation. Yeah, but Pirate Software are talking about it. Keep in mind, he doesn't know who I am. Like, he doesn't know who I am. All he knows is about, like, VTubers in yeah. general. And I guess, like, I don't know what he was talking about before we rated him, but he started talking about, like, oh, yeah, you know, I think the. Like, I think non-competes are garbage. <laughs> oh, God. He said that word per word. Because I was sitting in the stream. I was like, let me see what he's up to. Uh, he's like, thank you for the raid. Oh, she's a VTuber? Oh, my God. We were just talking about, like, VTuber clauses and stuff. You know, me personally, I think a non-compete is absolutely horrendous. I think it's stupid. Blah, 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 blah. It is. It is. I'm not going to tell you what I think about that. But, like, he just talks about it. A non-what? Don't worry about it. Don't even stress. And he starts talking about it. And I was like, damn. Thank God this doesn't, this does, this doesn't mean anything. Like, thank God. I, this is the first time I've heard about this. Because I'm new to the VTuber industry. And of course, of course. I would not know what you're talking about. Of course, of course. But goddamn. All right, that's the part where we're going to cut it off at. But yeah, um, pretty much confirming. Hey, you can see it either way. Confirming that there are not compete clauses in Nidhi Sanji. Uh, and that's why she waited a bit before she moved on to where she is right now. Reincarnated to where she is right now. And I think, um, I think she is very happy about where she is. I think she's very happy 
I hope she's very happy because she deserves to be very happy. And I hope that there wasn't a non-compete clause that was stopping her from doing what she wanted to do. Right now, we're going to be talking about Ayuchi, which is a French VTuber, as far as I understand it. Uh, this is their wiki page, which is female French VTuber artist from France. You can call her Ayu or Ayu. Uh, she started 11th, uh, her birthday is 11th of April. She started on 2021, 627. So she's been doing it for almost three years. She has put out a notice. And of course, this is her new model here. Um, she has put out a notice mentioning that she is going to be leaving and is with a heavy heart that she's announcing her graduation as a VTuber as of June 4th. So in about a week or two, uh, we'll be having a couple of streams before my departure. Let's have fun till then. Right here, we're going to go over what she has. I'm going to open it in a new tab so that I can get closer. It says, hello, my lovely little cultist, which is what she calls her community. I've never thought this day would come. My heart is so heavy and aches just writing this. First off, I want to tell you all I appreciate your support I've received from all of you and any of you. To any degree, for all these four years, I've been streaming. This has changed my life from just a why not to my full-time job for years. It has completely transformed me for the better. I grew more confident, more at ease with speaking out loud, finally felt proud of my accomplishments, and you all made me feel so special. So, so special. My heart would never dare go back to those amazing years, but back on those amazing years. They'll stay one of my most fond memories ever. With that being said, I will be retiring from my VTuber activities as of June 4th. You ask, why so? It's because I got a new life offering itself to me. I've been accepted for a media production apprenticeship. That means studying and working at the same time, starting September 2024. So she's following her dream. Nothing better than that. That's an amazing reason for her to do that. I want to dedicate my life to my new career and my dreams. I also want to protect my peace and mental health. Streaming is amazing. It's one of the best experiences I've ever had a chance to live. But it's exhausting. Very true. Keeping up with the schedule, denying events and hangouts because of it. Never truly taking a real day off because it feels like bad knowing you could fall behind others. The pressure of it is really something I doubt I could take without burning out massively next year. You guys gave me a privilege of not many people get to grow such an insane community filled with love and kindness and fun. I feel so undeserving of so much adoration and praise to all my VTuber friends meeting you guys, even if it was brief and we didn't get to hang out much, was light in my dark little life. The laughs and smiles you've brought me, I'll never forget. I'll never forget any of this, anyone. I want to live, to be someone again, a human, not an influencer or a celebrity, as you could call it. Want to be myself and have time for my cl close ones, vacations without guilt and less imposter syndrome. That being said, I'm not quitting the internet. I made a new Twitter for anyone who wishes to keep up with me personally outside of VTubing. I will still support my VTuber friends, watch them, I'm just retiring from being being one. If you don't wish to interact with me anymore, I totally understand and won't blame you for it. If you're interested in news from me though, add me at, at Ayuchi. But don't doubt you've made my life brighter. Just by existing, I'm going to miss this. I'm going to miss this so much. I'm going to miss all of you. So let's enjoy the last 11 days we have together, shall we? With love, Ayuchi, your cult leader, the YouTuber, who believes in you since day one. That is amazing. Let's see how people responded. My new personal account is Ayuchi. If you do wish to know what I'm doing, I'll keep supporting my artist friends, my VTuber friends too. I don't, I won't be one anymore. Love you all so much. Lucy Pyre, which is a big creator, says you were one of my first Twitch VTubers I ever watched. And I remember lurking in your streams often and finding your model so cute. I wish you nothing but the absolute best. You became my inspiration, Lucy. You are sunshine with so much unlimited energy. Uh, you work so hard. You're captivating. I've never thanked you enough for the day you made my logo video for me. It was always fond memory of mine. So yeah, a lot of people sending her a lot of love. Megalodon as well. Hate to hear this, but you have to do what is best for you. I wish you luck. Blay also as well. A lot of love. Everyone's given her lots of love, which she deserves. And of course, I wish her the best in her future endeavors. Following your dream is the best reason to graduate if you have a reason to do that. A positive post for uh, Suisse is Stellar Stellar has 38 million views and now BBD Ba is, uh, which is her most recent one, has 38 million 69,000 views. Incredible for her. She has worked her way all the way from the bottom to the top, all the way from an unknown in Inanaka music, not being supported by Inanaka music because they were focusing on Ozki channel to now being a part of Hollow Life and, um, being supported more and more, being given all the support she deserves, and being helped along with her original songs, all that kind of stuff, and having a good time, which is really honestly what matters. Dude's lucky she threw a shoe, not an axe. The metal version of Bubby Diba, over 
took Stellar Stellar with a two-year-old song in two months. Very happy for her and hope she her songs surpass the milestones. And BB Diba is probably surpassed Phony as her most viewed song. Although I love Phony, having an original song on the top of the video is way better. So yeah, people are very, very, very happy. Need to pump up Stellar Stellar numbers. I love BB Diba, but Stellar Stellar holds a special place in my heart. It does. It actually, listening to Stellar Stellar makes me emotional sometimes because it's like imagining everywhere she has been, everything she's done. That was like a success. That was a celebration of her success. And it was kind of it was kind of an emotional moment for a lot of the fans that are fans of Hollow Life, who's followed Sweet Say since the beginning, who's followed Sweet Say on her path or later found out about her path. It becomes an emotional thing because it is a story of clawing your way up with, you know, her uh, model that she created herself, her independent model, her independent community, brought it to Inanaka Music, brought it into Hollow Life. Now look at her now. She has a lot of viewers. She has a lot of support. She has a lot of music stuff going on. She has done, made her dream come true. Her father told her that she's proud because she came from the bottom to the top, from zero to something. He's very proud of all the hard work she's done. And if you're part of an Asian family, you know, that's very hard for a, a strict, he, she calls him a strict Asian father. So, you know, it's really amazing that she got this. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.